Daddy Five back with another banger. For today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to edit faster. It's like a V2 of the last video. It's kind of like an anniversary, also, because my last video was like my most viewed video. And I just wanted to show you guys like some tips that I do to like get faster at editing and stuff, and like more consistent and better. But if you guys make um, enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So the first tip. It's pretty much speed pads. So let's just, I'm gonna place like some floors or whatever. So for this, in order to do this, you're gonna need to go to your, um, oh God. All right, let me end game. I'll get you guys in a second. Hey guys, we're back. I ended the game and everything, but I also made myself like a mini edit course. So I can show you guys pretty much what I mean by this. So let's get right into it. So I have speed pads right here. So this is like fast and everything. It's infinite, I put it infinite. So yeah, so I don't really need all three of them, but it is for three three people I want to do it. So, what well, if it's gonna like make you like edit faster in situations? Oh, I'm messing up bad. All right, so like, oh my, what am I doing? Like if you're in a situation, you gotta edit out, but you're quick. That's what it is. So like this. So sorry. So like that, and I added. I don't. I added an extra one because. This is where you're doing your. You saw that? You just gonna want to do this all the time. You're just gonna want to do that, and yeah, that's pretty much all you need. Because this is like, it, like in tough situation, it just makes it go faster, so you can stay more consistent and stuff. That was that's the first tip, guys. But yeah. The next tip is gonna be about um something in your settings. So if you go to your sensitivity, if you have your horizontal and vertical speed the same, I want you to change your um horizontal one percent up and that like gives you like better movement or like stuff like this, something like that. That's what it is. And then it is just so much better overall. But Th that that was the that was the second tip. the The next tip, the third tip, is pretty much um. Let me show you guys. Let's just say this. So you're gonna want to do right for in order for that in order to do that, you're gonna need your edit. You don't need to confirm it if you're in confirm it on release. I'm on confirm it on release, but I still kind of confirm my edits. So then after that, you're gonna have to reset these. In order for that, what you're gonna need is your edit reset. So my edit triangle reset is R1. I'll just confirm so like that. And you just wanna just wanna wanna practice that always. Yeah, and another the fourth tip is when you first get on, always try to be the fastest you can. Always try to be fast, because if I'm just doing this bop 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 no, 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 you gotta be like, ah, you saw that? You gotta be, oh, my pain is bad. You gotta be like, ah, then you gotta be like, my, like, oh my God, there's money on the line. Pretend like there's money on the line or something. You gotta be the fastest one you can be to win the cash prize. And then you could be like a fast editor. But yeah, that was that. But the next tip, yeah, I'm on console, but this is gonna be for PC players, controller on PC. So this apparently reduces like your input delay. So I saw this from my man BH Dims. So you see where it says Builder Pro Old School, yeah, whatever. On the bottom, there should be like a configuration, and that config is kind of like, kind of like um, it would say like PS4 config and the Xbox config and then generic, and then you're gonna want to put it in generic. That like reduces your input delay, like decreases it, and you're just gonna become a faster editor. Another thing is turn. I already showed this in my last one, but turn this off, cause that like messes you up and it puts like too much like too much on your hard drive, and then you're gonna have input delay. And oh, uh, another thing, not a lot of people know this, but like go to subtitles and turn this off. It also shows input delay, and then you could have one of these for the sake of this video to show you like what edit bind I use. You could use like a switch mode edit, like do this. I would do this after, but it's just for everybody to see like that I do use triangle edit or whatever. I don't use like a t like the the D pad, 
but yeah that was that was pretty much for that tip um pretty much just going to edit courses as many as you can see i'll try to leave two of them at least in the description for you guys to like check them out um just type in the code when you go into your code map and the next tip is consistency i can't stress this enough you got to be consistent so like if let's say for example on uh, my edit so like if I want to do this the invisible trick where you just spam edit and whatever but you can't be really spam editing so it, if you spam your edit select or your if you want to do your confirm to at the same time don't spam it at the same time look at that it doesn't do anything you gotta do your edit select confirm edit select confirm or you can just do edit select edit select edit select and then you'll be like faster editor I still confirm my edits but another tip that I would really give to you guys I'm still good without it like I don't see a big deal if easy right now You see, it's not like a big deal or anything. I don't really care, but having it on is actually better. But I use it off when I'm going for like these retakes. Like let's say, I have it on right now, but like let's say I wanna go for this retake, where I go like that, and then you edit, you have to hold this down the whole time if you're on confirm and on release, which I don't mind, but like it, sh it could get uncomfortable for some people. But that was like most of like the tips oh yeah except one all right so i will be i'm about um yeah i don't i'm sorry if that last part was cringe but yeah it's i, I think it's okay but that was all we got for today guys if you guys may enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe comment what was your what was your favorite part and if this was helpful make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'm just gonna try to make this go invisible right now Oh no, I didn't, but adios, I'm out.